What's up guys and welcome to the Stone Guard Normal Raid Encounter in the Mogushan Vault. This is the 10 man normal version. Let's get right into it. Uh, first off, big shout out to Unrated on Kel'Thuzad. Uh, we got this down last night, so I wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. As always, I'm going to have the abilities scrolling above, so you that you can pause them and read them if you need to. This this boss has four dogs. Only three of them are ever active. Uh, Blizzard chooses them randomly each week. They do not change per attempt. They change per week. So get used to the mechanics each week. This week, we had Amethyst, we had Jade, and we had Jasper. What does the Cobalt do that we don't have to worry about? He drops a mine. If you get stuck in it, it hurts, and you get stunned. You know, you can dispel it, but you do get stunned, so be aware of that. But the ones that we had to deal with were the chains. What do you do for the chains? If you got your chain, buddy, you're within 10 yards. As soon as the Jasper overload goes off, you get outside of 10 yards, break your chains. Other than that, you're staying with your chain, buddy, um, while avoiding purple goo. That's really your job, is avoid purple goo, and manage your chains as a DPS and a healer. Uh, tanks are the key to this fight. Them doing proper tank swapping, making sure that they always have the petrified ad and the lowest energy ad on them at all times is huge. What we did was we just had the tank um, on the right hand side of the room when we walk in, take the two over there, and then they would just always have the two on one side so the DPS didn't need to switch. Um, it allowed us to have a lot higher DPS uptime. And it also allows us to kind of manage everything a little bit better. This fight is key to have two tanks who are vocal and who like to call stuff out as a good tank should. It is extremely important. Also, if you have misdirects, tricks of the trade, anything you can give to that tank going in on the two dog side, give it to them because it's not fun on that pull immediately off the bat, especially when you have a couple of badass warlocks like we do. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys, that you want to make sure that you're trying to help out your tanks as much as possible. Keep that fight flowing, keep that going. As far as healing is concerned, this fight's not really um, that hard to heal if everybody does their job, okay? Um, last night when we were doing attempts on it, we were doing 50, 60k HPS, but we were only getting through about 40, 50% of the fight because there was so much avoidable damage. As you can see during this kill video, our numbers are nowhere near that because nobody's taking that amount of damage. Uh, we did all still run Oom um at about the same time, which is good to see that at least we all hit it at the same time. Um, but also not good to see because who likes to run whom. The only thing that you need to worry about healing in this fight, okay, um, the biggest thing is your tanks. Your tanks have the rend ability on them, which hits like a truck. These bosses hit like a truck. Overload hits. Um, there's just a lot of, lot of, there's purple pools. There's a ton of damage that tanks can take during this fight, and it can really, really be spiky if you're not paying attention. Um, that's your biggest thing to worry about to make sure that those tanks have their dots are cycling cooldowns that you're cycling your cooldowns on the tanks um, Everything that you can do also try to conserve your mana as best as possible Like I said the beginning of this fight is when it's the most hectic for mana because you're getting everybody set up uh, You're making sure the ads have all the aggro they need and then you're slowly starting to walk up the room And then when you get to the top of the room you turn around and slowly start to walk back um, so what you're really doing is there's a couple different points where there can be a little bit of extra raid damage, but that's really, you know, your points of where that's going to happen. So make sure you're cycling your cooldowns uh, for overload. If you see people start getting significantly low, do that. Um, and then the other thing that the tanks need to do is if there's going to be a, a possibility of a oops overload where it's not the petrifying dog doing the overload, make sure that they're calling that out and they're seeing that ahead of time so that you as a healer can make sure that you have your raid cooldown ready to go. And it's GG, okay? But let's go over a couple more of the things that we need to watch out for while we're doing this fight. Uh, the first thing is, is your chain buddy. You really need to watch out for that, okay? That's a ton of damage. Remember, if you're within 10 yards, you're not taking damage. If you're outside of 10 yards, you're breaking those stacks, and each stack that you break off increases the damage that you take. But remember that if the Jasper is petrifying, his abilities do 90% less damage. So you, what we did to over uh, to compensate for this is we had our chain buddies group up until the Jasper uh, was petrified. As soon as the Jasper is petrified, uh, we broke apart. We did we yelled break chains, break chains, break chains. You run away 10 yards and then you keep doing whatever you're doing. As soon as your stacks fall off, you can do, go wherever you want. The trick is, guys, is later on in this fight, um, what happens is, is you may not get a full 15 seconds to break these chains and your healers may be going oom. So at some point you may just want to say, I don't want to take the extra damage as a raid. Just stay stacked with your chain buddy and we'll deal with it then. Um, and, and 
that sometimes is an easier way to go, especially at the end of the fight if you don't have the ability to heal through. Obviously, if you have the ability to heal through, it allows you to move a lot easier. The problem when you have that chain buddy is if you move one way and he moves the other way, 10 yards is not that far and you will get hurt. So what you need to do is constantly be communicating with your chain buddy. Guys, this is what you need vet for. These are the kind of fights that you need Team Speak Mumble Vet, all that stuff for is because you need to be able to coordinate with your chain buddy. That's why we kind of kept the dogs going in the same direction, both ways, is so that the DPS knew, well, there's no reason for me to run the other way because the boss is going that way. So it kind of it kind of dumbed it down a little bit for us. It allowed us to kind of have everything going in the same direction. So all the bubbles knew, all the chain partners knew where they were going, all the purple stuff knew where it was going, and we could just turn around and come back. It's a little bit smoother, a little bit easier to heal, um, and it's just kind of a frantic fight at first until you kind of get the hangs of it. Um, and like I said, you're gonna wipe. Um, getting your tanks to figure this out because it's not something that they're going to just pick up on the first try most likely. Um, as soon as our tanks figured it out though, it was literally GG. But what you got to remember to do guys is concentrate at the end of the fight. There is not a DPS race here. Okay, it's not a DPS race. It is a very simple coordination fight. We had some of the some DPS that probably shouldn't have been in there with their gear. We brought them in anyway um, and we still did well. I mean, we still killed it. There was no sign of a Berserk timer from DBM. There was nothing. Um, so I would just say, you know, if it comes down to, can I take that extra tick or do I finish this spell? Don't take the extra tick because your healers need their mana more than you need your EP. Okay? Make sure that you understand that the, the healers in this fight, it sucks for the healers in this fight the longer it goes and the more avoidable damage you take. Um, so I would recommend just keeping your eye out, keeping coordinated, keeping focused, and you guys will down this boss. Again, big shout out to Unrated. Big shout out to all the guys who got their first kill. We'll see you in Fang tonight, and hopefully we'll have a video for you tomorrow on Fang. Please like and subscribe down below. Again, this is Big Nash. We'll see you next time, guys.